Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel Strength in English. Today we are going to learn Cambridge English in intermediate level. Come on students, now we can proceed. Students, when you were children, you had lot of dreams to achieve in life. You had lot of dreams to become of someone. You had lot of dreams to achieve something in life. For which education played a very important role in your life. It is still, one of the famous scientists said, that is Albert Einstein, education is not the learning of facts, the training of the mind to think. I firmly believe this session will surely make you to think. Students, I firmly believe that now you are all studying in schools, colleges. The same time it is very important to understand when I study everything in English, I need to mold myself in English. I need to express myself in English. So therefore, education means inspiring someone's mind, not just filling their head. Now let us see how this video makes a significant role in understanding the importance of English in our life. Students, now I have a question to ask you. Do you speak English? Do you regularly speak English? Do you speak English with your friends? Do you speak English in schools, colleges? Whenever you, you meet people, those who know English well? The question is no. We Indians usually talk in our own mother tongue with whom whomsoever we meet in our life, whether in school, whether when we have family gathering, whether, whether, whether we have, whether we have been with our friends, we tend to talk in our mother tongue, whether we talk in uh, Gujarati, whether we talk in Hindi, whether we talk in Marathi, whether we talk in uh, Tamil, whether we talk in Malayalam, whether we talk in uh, Telugu, whether we talk in Kannada. So believe me that whenever we meet our friends, when we, whenever we meet our relatives, we always talk in our own mother tongue. So therefore, adequately, we lose the grip of having the uh, complete knowledge over the language that is English. So therefore, you need to ask yourself, when you prepare yourself for your life, you need to ask yourself that, do you speak English? Am I, spe am I speaking in English regularly? Students, it is the fact that we don't talk in English regularly. So now it is the time. Now the time has come to understand oneself in English, particularly our own dreams, aspirations. So therefore, let us start today. Let us learn English in order to understand oneself and to make our dreams to be alive in our lives. For this, strength in English will help you. So therefore, learn English, earn knowledge, because English is for life. So therefore, with this perspective, we have begun this channel, Strength in English. Therefore, students, it is merely our sincere efforts to create a virtual platform for effective learning among the students across the globe to acquire adequate knowledge in the English language, since the proficiency in English is a must in all walks of students' life. So here is a platform. Here is a platform for best learning. Here is a 
platform to rediscover yourself. So therefore, this particular channel, Strength in English, will surely help you. So my humble request would be to you, subscribe this channel and then promote this channel, this video to all the students who, who are in need of learning, who are in need of making a new life. Come on students, now we proceed. Students, today we are going to learn present continuous tense. Today you need to understand when you, when you think of present continuous tense, it is not the tense which I have learned when I was in primary section or when I was in middle school. But here you need to use the present continuous tense in situation. When you talk with your friends, when you talk with your teachers, when you talk with your family friends, when you're talking uh, in the assembly, when you're talking to the people, when you're, when you're addressing someone. So therefore, you need to understand that you are using the present continuous tense in situation. According to the situation, how you can effectively use the present continuous tense. This is what you need to understand. In the given situation, the situation which you are experiencing in, in your day-to-day -day life, how you can use present continuous tense effectively. This is what you are going to learn in this particular unit. So first, study this example situation. Sara is in her car. She is on her way to work. She is driving to work. This means she is driving now. She is driving now at the time of speaking. The action is not finished. So this is first understanding. Okay. So what is understanding? Sara in, is in her car. She is on her way to work. She is driving to work. What does it mean? She is driving now at the time of speaking. Therefore, the action is not finished. So first thing you can use present continuous tense at the time of speaking when the action is not finished. Okay, so that the, uh, we can understand that way. In general, present continuous tense means the action is happening right now. In this moment, in this moment, the things are happening. So therefore, we understand Present continuous tense can be used at the time of speaking as well when the action is not finished, which means what the action is happening right now. Now you see, structurally, am is are plus verb plus ing is the present continuous tense. I am driving. I, he, she, it, we, you, they. These are pronouns. Am, is, are. These are auxiliary verbs or we can say helping verbs. I am driving. Drive is a verb. Drive plus ing. Driving. Working. Doing. I am driving. He is driving. She is driving. He is working. She is working. We are doing. You are doing. They are doing. So this is the form we need to write in present continuous tense. Now we see the other example. I am doing something. I am doing something means I am in the middle of doing it. I have started doing it and I haven't finished yet. This is what does it mean. Okay, this is what it means. I am doing something means I am in the middle of doing it. I have started doing it and I haven't finished it. So now we have examples. Please don't make so much noise. I am trying to work. Where is Mark? He is having a shower. Let's go out now. It isn't raining anymore. 
Now, for example, you are at a party. Hello, Jane. Are we enjoying the party? What's all that noise? What's going on? Which means what's happening? So here you understand that whatever the action has happened, the action is happening the middle of doing something. You started doing it and having finished it. Next one, you see, the action is not necessarily happening at the time of speaking. For example, Steve is talking to a friend on the phone. He says, I am reading a really good book at the moment. It's about a man who. So what is the situation here? Steve is talking to a friend on the phone. I'm reading a really good book at the moment. It's about a man who. What, what do they say? The action is not necessarily happening at the time of speaking. You may be saying lies as well. But let us try to understand specifically. Steve is not reading the book at the time of speaking. He means that he has started it, but he has not finished it yet. He is in the middle of reading it. Understand? He is in the middle of reading it. Perhaps when his friends called him or when his friend called him, he has gone to attend the phone. We need to understand or he may be he might have taken a break. I am reading a really good book at the moment. It's about a man who. So when Steve speaks to his friend on the phone, this is what he meant. What he meant, Steve is not reading the book at the time of speaking. He means that he started it but has not finished it yet. He is in the middle of reading it. Let us see some more example students. Kate wants to work in Italy, so she is learning Italian. But perhaps she isn't learning Italian at the time of speaking. Some friends of mine are building their own house. They hope to finish it next summer. Next one, the third one. You can use the present continuous with today, this week, this year which means periods around now. Usually when we talk about today, we always go with uh, simple present tense, but we need to understand the context here. What is the situation here? We are working hard today. Yes, I have a lot to do. The company I work for isn't doing so well this year. So what does it mean? Periods are now. What is the period today? This year. You're working hard today. Yes, I have a lot to do. Okay. Secondly, the company I, I work for isn't doing so well this year. So this time, the company is not doing well. That's what the person is trying to tell. Okay, so when you're talking about today, when you're talking about this week or this year, in present continuous tense, it, it is meant to said, it is meant to be said that it is happening around that particular time. That's what it means. Next one. We use the present continuous when we talk about changes happening around now, especially with these verbs. Get, change, become, increase, rise, fall, grow, improve, begin, start. Okay, so kindly note down these verbs, my dear students. Get, change, become, increase, rise, fall, grow, improve, begin, start. 
so when we talk about changes happening around now so for that we use present continuous tense is your english getting better try to understand my dear students is your english getting better so what is the change getting better english is getting better so that changes is happening around now since you started learn so therefore is your english getting better yes my english is getting better the population of the world is increasing very fast the change which you are talking about at first i didn't like my job but i am beginning to enjoy it now see now yes students you have learned the lesson now it's time for exercise are you ready exercise are very simple it's not so difficult okay are you ready yes okay now we proceed students first you have complete the sentences with the following verbs in the correct form okay so the verbs are given come get happen look make start stay try the first sentence has been done for you you can see you are working hard today yes i have a lot to do so you need to write or you need to write in present continuous tense by making use of all these verbs you need to write in present continuous tense but what is more important you need to understand the sentence you need to understand you need to choose the appropriate verb and write it this is what to be done in exercise 1.1 okay students now let us proceed to next one next one is 1.2 put the verb into the correct form sometimes you need the negative so you need to find out which sentence uh, you need uh, you need to find out which sentence you need to write in negative which sentence you need to write in affirmative okay positive and negative the first uh, sentence i am tired i am going to bed now good night second sentence we can go out now it isn't raining anymore you see you need to understand the context and accordingly you need to write it is not like the the verb is given in the bracket so you need to fill not that way you need to understand the situation and accordingly you need to write so therefore the, the intermediate is completely based on understanding the situation according to the situation we are using the grammar okay so therefore context is very important we are applying the contextual knowledge that is very important my dear students students now we are come to 1.3 complete the conversations so you are given a conversation so you need to find accordingly you need to answer that is also according to the situation okay students next we have come to 1.4 complete the sentences using the following verbs hmm? so you see that which verb you can use accordingly Can use it. First one, the population of the world is rising very fast. Okay, so accordingly you can use. So here you see the picture is is given there below. If you learn English, it's not that you need to go to foreign country. If you learn English, you can look at the world with a with an optimistic perspective. If you learn English. wherever you want to go wherever you want to travel wherever you want to uh, travel and find your own dream with education you can reach so for this english becomes the instrumental okay students i hope you have completed your exercises now let us see that how well you have written so therefore it's time for checking your answers okay students all the best
So here the answer key is given. You can correct all the answers. I surely believe that you all will be in flying colors. So students, let us not forget, it's all about the future. So let us make the future better in present. Thank you, students. Formal education will make your living. Self-education will make your fortune. I believe that you have discovered your own fortune. I, all, I invite you all to put forth your own comments with regard to this particular video. And secondly, that I request you, I recommend you, I invite you to forward this video to your friends who are in need of learning. Thank you so much, friends. Thank you, dear students. God bless everyone.